morning school. It's a beautiful sunny morning and um, we're going out for a ride. Well, I will be when I remember to take my gloves. Right, we'll start this again. Scrap that. Good morning, squirrels. It's a beautiful morning. October the oh, 17th or something like that. I can't remember the date. Um, I'm going out for a ride. But today is not the Beast Triumph Day. Today it's the Beast Honda Day. Yes! She hasn't been out for ages. All 350cc. Used to have the 300. I've swapped it for the 350 because I'm a big boy and I thought well the extra little bit of grunt might help me. Uh, pick this one up. Got a cracking deal on the 300. Um, it's lovely. The only thing it hasn't got is um, heated grips like the other one had. But this has got um, hand guards. Little hand guards to keep the wind off. So, they might work as well. Well, I don't think they will work as well as heated grips, but um, we shall see. So, we're heading out. My Triumph, I'm fitting a rack to it and I need some bits. And the bits are uh, from a, a specialist bolt place in Perrinporth. So, plus the bike that's triumph is in little bits, not in little bits, but partly disassembled to fit the rack. I thought well, I'll just take the bolts along with me and, um, and go on this beast. So I've set a little meandering route via Kalimoto. I never want to go straight there, that'd be dull. Thank you very much. Um, and we'll uh, see what Kalimoto does for us. I haven't ridden this bike for quite some time. Uh, down here. Um, we <laughs> I forgot now uh, sprightly a little thing it was. Yeah, the 300 was nice. Um, and uh, I did a camping trip on that. If you look on my YouTube page, you'll see it. Uh, we did a camping trip, me and a mate to uh, Brixham in Devon, which for us is about uh, just over 100 mile, I think. Um, which, uh, it's brilliant. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Just an overnighter. But he had a, he's got a, a 300cc Honda again, but his is a motocross bike. A CRF 300, is it? Um, so he went on that. But we had a uh, we had a whale of a time. There's a little video about us us riding there. Um, if you want to have a look at it, there's a there's a bit of bit of language in there, so it's not for children. <laughs> but it's um, yeah, it was a good laugh. But anyway, I uh, decided. I don't know why, I have these bloody mad impulses um, to, to upgrade my 300 to this, which is the uh, 
the new version, which they've upped it, it's now a 350. It's not, not actually 350cc, it hasn't gone up by 50cc. It's gone up a bit, but can't remember what they... Oh, what are you doing, cat? It's gone up a bit, but I um, can't remember exact cc's it's gone up. It might be 30 or 40, I don't know. But supposedly, improved torque, improved... Uh, improved performance I have noticed I've, I've used it a little bit but I have noticed it's not as good on fuel uh, as a 300 um, 300 when we did that camping trip for example bear in mind a tent and all sorts of bits and pieces on all my camping gear just an overnight bag and a tent and everything. Um, I think when we went to uh, to Brixham, it did about 90 to the gallon. Uh, we were doing between 60 and 70 most of the time. Uh, and this, this on a similar, I haven't, I haven't had it laden down with camping gear, but bimbling along sort of 60 and 70 and mixed riding, this is doing about. 80 so it's, it's probably about 10 miles per gallon worse but when you're talking either 80 or 90 miles per gallon either way you're talking it's uh, cheap 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 motoring and just like the 300 this 350 is incredibly smooth well, most of the time you don't know it's got an engine in it. Um, what the 350 did come with, which I didn't like, is a bloody great screen that, that you, even me being six foot tall, I had to look through it, which I didn't like at all. It just felt, Ew. So, um, I don't know if you can see the screen there now. I took to it with a Dremel <laughs> and chopped about three inches off it and shaped the top. So uh, the end result is what you see in front of me. Uh, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. It still offers quite a bit of wind protection but the wind now hits my helmet the one on my head and um, I'm, I'm not looking through it it's a lot better right so uh, yeah we just set off so I've got a full tank of fuel half a pack of cigarettes it's dark and I'm not wearing sunglasses. There's a bit of Blues Brothers for you if you remember it. Um, we'll sit back and enjoy the ride to um, Dutchy Fasteners in Perrinforth. Let's see where Kalimoto takes me. It's, um, Pretty interesting at the minute. It's not just getting me on the bypass and getting up to Perrinforth, it's uh, taking me up via the coast road and Porth Town. Uh, yeah, lovely. Actually, buzzing along at 50 mile an hour. I can't even hear the engine, so I have no idea what it's doing revs wide whether it's it won't be screaming its head off it's just purring away nice like that I can't hear it and I can't feel it there's no vibes at all no noise at all it's like riding an electric scooter um, and I have seen on a closed road uh, private closed road I have seen 90 mile an hour on the speedo and it had a bit left I think 
had a bit left. This is lovely. I, I've forgotten. It must be a, two months since I've been on this, and I've forgotten how nice it is. And even with my deep bulk, this is quite a steep hill. It's whizzing up here effortlessly. No noise, no drama, no fuss. Sure on this is this, this lovely. This, the other bike, the 300, had a really comfortable seat on it, and it wasn't until I got a chance to compare it to another one that I realised that somebody had um, had the seat cover off and obviously put some extra padding in. Uh, So before, when I ordered this and before this came, I could see the seat was, to look at it on the photographs, I could see it was, um, it was different. So I took my 300 to a local guy to me that does um, upholstery work on cars and one thing or other. He had a quick shifty at it and I said, look, can you copy that if, if the new bike when it comes is uncomfortable? And he said, yeah. He said, I think what they've done is they've uh, pulled it out, perhaps put a gel pad in there and some um, extra foam. So anyway, got, got this, sure enough, sat on it, seat is typical scooter firm. But I've got, I don't know if you noticed it before I climbed aboard, I've got a uh, inflatable seat cushion that I've had kicking around for ages. So I put that on and uh, hey presto, it's an all day seat now. So comfortable. I, I, could, I could I could do a little tour on this. I love it. <coughs> Excuse me, I'd forgotten how good it was. Uh, Seventy eight point three to the gallon. Excuse me. bike's done a total of I didn't buy it new but it was nearly it's a year old when I bought it it, it, it had um, it had like 1600 miles on it when I bought it or oh, was it 1500 miles on it I think. I've put a couple hundred miles on it since I got it today we're out for a little so this is a, this is an enormous hill but it's um, it's pulling up here if you watch the Triumph ride video that I'm going to put up, I've come up here on the Triumph. Um, yeah, this is uh, an enormous little lap one. Run by an island coming up here. There we go. Cruising along 55. as can be quarter of a mile turn left oh that's going to be a big one that I haven't done before no sorry that's 1.4 miles ah I know that didn't seem like it's um what an outside temperature day, gentlemen. I was like saying it's 18 today. That's nice. There's no wonder I'm not feeling cold.
I might get some because I think me and John will end up doing another camping trip next year. Or I will certainly do another camping trip if John doesn't come. Uh, and I might very well do one on this. I might just get a pair of um, put the top box and I've got a little bit of space under the seat. And then you chuck the kit bag on with on the passenger seat with um, tent and everything in it. I might just pick up a cheap set of um, throw over saddlebags. Yeah, chuck them on the back. And then I'll have full on touring capacity. <laughs> I can't not imagine it like, whoa. Hold on. Road ahead closed, that's not good. That's not good. You're going to spoil my trip. Unless it means like a little road that branches off this. But I'm, it's telling me 0.8 of a mile turn right, so I'm not going into as the locals call it, Aggie, or everybody else, St Agnes. Yeah, I bought this to primarily to take on the back of the motorhome in a trailer when we go off to France and Spain. And I can oik it out and uh, while she's sunbathing I can have a bimble off somewhere. Um, and it's perfect if you're thinking about one um, I've done a moped which I carried on a tow bar on the bike on a tow bar rack done a tiny little 50cc moped that was alright just for running around the town um, then I had a 125 uh, the sort of like a, a modern day equivalent of a Honda 90 thing the Innova, that's it uh, and that was alright but get Linda on the back and um, it struggled a bit with the two of us on so that uh, prompted me to go for the 300 it doesn't weigh it only weighs about 10 kilo more than a 125 or, or very little more something like that um, but the increase in power and the performance is, is brilliant say, this will happily cruise 70 mile an hour on a on a, on a dual carriageway or, on a, or even on a motorway um, with a good 15 mile an hour in reserve 20 mile an hour perhaps even in reserve for overtaking at that speed so this is St Agnes lovely little village Road closed. Ah, uh -huh. okay. We have to divert, so let's uh, divert then, and hopefully. Kalimoto picked up on it very quickly. <laughs> deviation it's telling me I can turn right in a minute and see if that's where the diversion signs are yep 
got down here. Rocky Lane. Oh, you Adrian! You Adrian! Cue the poor impression of Rocky Balboa. That poor, I had to say who it was. <laughs> yeah, this is uh... <laughs> a tiny little back white diversion, isn't it? We'll come down here in a bus. What a lovely valley. down here it looks a bit damp greasy and leafy well, I can see the sea there oh, bugger me an old Yorkshire expression that but it doesn't mean what it sounds like these days I don't want buggering to be honest now where am I here Driftwood Spars. What a beautiful, I've never been down here. Awesome. Right, let's see if I can get back uh, half a mile turn left it says. heard of driftwood spars but uh, I have never I'm coming I might come back this way and, and have a look at the beach down where that van that was in front of me turned left down there yeah I don't know where I am now it's a pub here on the left and that's got me past that. Awesome. Yeah. Lovely. Out the other side of Aggie. Onwards. Right. Wicked little band. Yeah. And another one. Cross Coombe. Right. Well, uh, I'll have this guy in the next uh, decent straight. Poor lady, I think it is a lady. 
If there is a decent straight, I don't think there is. It's all uh, twisty turning like this. Which is nice. Not much point, I can see a bus and a couple of other vehicles. So there ain't much point in uh, darting past because I'll struggle to pass a bus on here. Ooh, there's a bus coming this way. Can you imagine driving a bus on these like double decker bus? Gotta have some skills. You have. Oh, we didn't want this, did we, guys? Being stuck behind uh, something bimbling along at 26 miles an hour. Never mind. Hopefully it won't be for long. I'll have a crack if I can at uh, speeding this section up. You know, it's nearly as comfortable as the Triumph this. <laughs> Suspension doesn't soak up the bumps like the Triumph does, but seat-wise, with this bag on, this thing on, and uh, riding position-wise, it's nearly as comfortable. Yeah. Arrival time 11.40, it's now 11.29. Oh look, there's a straight here. I'm paying attention, I could have. We still can, get on. Well, dispatched a couple there. No, it's such a nice day, I'm, I'm loath to... Ooh, pay attention Tom. It's such a nice day, I'm, I'm loath to just pick my nuts and bolts up that I need and go back. I might, I might uh, have a little explore while I'm out, I think. the bus I would have done too late now and this is the uh, the hill dropping down into Perrinforth I um, it's 
surface are out. I've yet to do an oil change on this. It's, uh, it had one on its first service, which would have been at uh, about 600 miles or whatever it was. It will have had one then. But I think I might uh, I might give it one before it goes away for the winter. Yeah. Or before winter sets in. Our impulse busy today with the weather being nice. Yeah. Busy, busy. Is on the left, Duchy Fastness. 